Hello friends, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. Today in this video, we will see how to change the home directory of the Jenkins. The Jenkins default home directory is the user home and dot Jenkins. Okay, so uh, now we are in the Jenkins dashboard. So log in and check what is the default Jenkins home directory. Okay, we have logged into Jenkins dashboard and this is the dashboard. Okay, in the previous video also we have seen how the Jenkins dashboard looks like. And to get the home directory, you have to go to this manage Jenkins. Under this manage Jenkins, you will find system configuration. This is the configure system. Under this system configuration, you will find your home directory. Okay, now go down and see. Yes, this is the home directory. Okay, and the home directory is the root and the hidden folder is dot Jenkins because I have installed the Jenkins in the root profile. Okay, that's why the home directory is the root. If I have used in some other profile, then that will be the home directory for the okay so we will change the home directory to a different part because sometimes whenever the Jenkins operates it generates the logs and the disk it gets full so to reduce the disk issue or for provide a enough disk space to the Jenkins we need to change the home directory so how we will change the home directory we will see so there are a lot of steps are there we will see one by one, we'll go through the each step and see whether we are able to successfully complete or not. Okay, so we'll follow the steps. What is the step one? Step one is the create a new directory. This new directory will be your the new. Jenkins home directory. Okay. So let's go to our terminal. Okay. Now we are at the terminal. We will create a Jenkins new home directory. So let's check where the space is available so that it will give a new space to our home directory okay yes this is the command through which we can check the space available okay so at the user we have the space so let's move into the user directory okay you can see now we are at the root and user okay so here you have to create a new directory so to create a new directory you have to use the command mkdir okay the directory name whatever you can give but I am giving it as a mk yeah, Jenkins home okay so for the identical purpose I am giving the name as Jenkins home okay so you list the file and see the Jenkins home is created here so now what we will do we will go for the next step what is the next step step 2 step 2 is the copy all files from default home directory to new home directory. Okay. So, what is the default home directory? Already we have seen. Okay. This is the default and we will change it to the new. What is the new directory? That is the user Jenkins home. Okay. So what we will do? The second step defines that to copy all the files or the config files, everything from the root dot Jenkins to the new directory that is USR Jenkins home. Okay. So go to our terminal and follow the steps. 
So to copy everything, we will use the command that is cp and which AVR will use to do all the files from every folder with a recursive way. Okay. So from where we have to copy that is root dot jenkins and stack everything to the new directory that is USR. Okay, so the process is begin. You can see it will copy everything to the new directory. So in a while it will complete the copying of uh, all the config files and log files everything all the directory what are present in our default home directory that will be copied to our new directory okay the same step two steps are also same in the windows also you have to create a new directory and copy everything okay in both the scenarios the steps are same but one thing is different that is to define the environment variable you will see okay you can see the Jenkins is there so let's move into the Jenkins directory okay and you see the current working directory now we are at the USR Jenkins home okay this is the new directory so let's see whether everything is copied or not yes everything is copied so these are all the files XML file, log files, and everything, whatever the configuration files are there for the Jenkins, everything is copied to the new directory. Okay, so next we'll go for the step 3. What will be the step 3? We have copied the config file, but we have not defined the uh, new home directory at the config level. So, what we'll do, we'll define New directory at where as a environment variable. Okay, so in Linux we can define anything at two location. One is the etc profile dot b is one path where we can provide the environment variable also we can give the user path and bash rc also is there okay so these are the some these are the some path where we can define the environment variable so that at the boot time it will check and take the uh, environment variable okay so to define the environment variable we will use the command export then we will define our variable okay jenkins home so, and the path of the new jenkins home okay and this is the path and it should be appended and we will define it at okay at this file we will define this export command at the terminal also we can use this command but that will be temporary at the permanent uh, to persist the environment variable after reboot also we have to define at root and dot bash profile okay so let's go to our terminal and do the same so what we'll do, we add the file, then add the root because so we logged in user as the root. So dot bash, then we we'll go for the profile. Okay, here you go to the last line and go to the insert mode and we use the command export. Then use your So 
have defined our new Jenkins home path here okay the bash profile so it will act as a variable there and also you relate the file by using the source command or source or you can also put the dot before the file name so that it will variable the file Source the file and there is no error and everything successfully reloaded. So I can also check the environment variable is set or not. So by using the echo command, you give the dollar value to get the value of any variable. Okay. You see the yes, Jenkins form. Okay. So we will get the variable. You see the value at the Jenkins home is USR Jenkins home. Okay. So the step 3 is also completed. Okay. The step 3 is completed. Now go for the step 4. Okay. What will be the step 4? Restart the Jenkins. Okay. So what we will do? See, it is already logged in. So, what will do from the command line or from the browser itself? Command that is restart. Okay, it will ask to restart. Yes, okay. So, you can see, you see, at the terminal, somewhere we have started to get at that also we have restarted okay so after restart sometimes the profile is set and the ML variability also set but still it is not reflecting at the Jenkins so we need to restart the system also okay so I have restarted the Jenkins It is fully up and running. See, okay, it's asking for the login because the by default it will show the screen to login. We will check whether it is changed or not. Otherwise, we have to restart the session. Okay. Go to the configure system and under this we will find the home directory. It's not changed, so what I'll do will completely logged out and I'll restart the system. Okay. And after reboot, I'll check. We have restarted the server now. So now we will run the command to start the Jenkins. Okay. So this is the command Java then the jar in the Jenkins work. Okay. 
So we'll start once again. Yes, you can see it is also in the screen, it is also showing that at the beginning the environment started from the Jenkins home. Okay. So Jenkins home means it will get the value from our profile. Okay. Already starting all the plugins. So once it will complete, it will show the message that it is fully up and running. You see, the Jenkins is fully up and up and running. So we'll go and try again to log in our Jenkins dashboard. Okay. Always the Jenkins is running on the port number 8080. Okay. So now log into our Jenkins profile and check whether the phone directory is changed or not. Okay, now on the dashboard, go to Manage Jenkins. Under this Manage Jenkins, you will find a system configuration. Under that, you have to go to the Configure System. Yes, you can see the home directory is changed. The previous home directory was root Jenkins, and now it is changed to our new home directory that is user and Jenkins home. Okay, so it will resolve our issue if we, the root uh, home directory does not have the use space. So, at the new directory, uh, we provide the use space, and everything, all the log space, and everything will be stored properly. Okay. So these are the steps through which we will be able to complete or change the home directory. Okay. Step 5 is not the compulsory one. Okay. So reboot the system. If it does not affect on the environment variable, so you have to reboot the system. Okay. So these are the 5 steps through which you have successfully completed how to change the home directory. And you like this, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video.